Next, let's look at doing some basic adjustments in Aperture. Aperture is a very powerful tool for making adjustments to your photos. All of the adjustments that you apply in Aperture are non-destructive. You're never actually affecting the pixels inside of your original master image. So that gives us a lot of flexibility. I'll go back and select my AUPN 2.0 project, open it up. I have created a folder here for adjustments and editing. The first thing I'm going to look at is doing exposure adjustments. I'll select the exposure album here. I'll go ahead and click on this first image and go to my adjustments tab in my inspector. Here in the adjustments tab, I've got a histogram here as well as a number of adjustment layers that are pre-applied to all my images. It looks like the exposure for this particular image could use a little help. I'll click on the disclosure triangle to open up the exposure adjustment layer. By dragging the exposure slider to the right, I can see the results here in my viewer in the form of different values and in my histogram. To view what the image looked like prior to the exposure adjustment, I could just uncheck the exposure layer to turn it off. And that way you can see before and after. A new feature in Aperture 2.0 is the ability to see values that are over or underexposed right in the viewer. To do so, we'd hold down the Command key or the Apple key while we're dragging the exposure slider. Notice it looked like I had overexposed the blue channel slightly. So what I may do is drag that down until I've got some more reasonable values. The recovery slider here is new as well. We can do the same thing with it, holding down the command key and dragging it to see the pixels that are overexposed. The recovery slider is unique. It's actually just modifying the pixels right on the edge of being overexposed. So by adjusting it, you're not generally affecting the overall exposure of an image, just those pixels that are right on the cusp. Black point here as well is new. Again, you've got the option of adding the command key to check for your underexposed values. In addition to the sliders here, you have fields to the right that give you a number of different options for adjusting. You can click on the triangles to increment exposure by a tenth of a stop, or you could hover your cursor over the field and click and drag to the left or right to adjust dynamically. The last option would be to double click in a field and input numerically the exact exposure that you want. There, that looks better. There are some auto exposure options in Aperture 2.0. I'll go ahead and select this third image. It looks like my metadata is overlaying my image. So I'll go back to my view, metadata, and customize this, and just switch back to my set one here. Back in my adjustments tab, I'll just click the auto exposure button, and we'll see what Aperture is capable of doing. There we go, quite a bit better. I could easily fine tune the adjustments here as well by manually dragging the exposure sliders.